Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This will be the first video in a playlist called Serious Fun with SQL and we'll get to see a simplified view of how encryption can be done using SQL, specifically Oracle SQL. So first some concepts. We'll be using, um, as mentioned, we'll be using Oracle in this demonstration, and we'll be using a free website online, I mean, yeah, website called livesql.oracle.com. So you can check that out. To be able to leverage the services of this uh, website, you must be able, you must have an Oracle account handy. So you can create an, a free Oracle account. And with that account, you can log in and utilize the, services of this um, application or of this service. Okay, so once you're logged in to livesqloracle.com, you'll be able to use this um, online SQL worksheet. So means if you have seen one of my previous videos on the SQL tutorial series, you will learn from that video that you could, you have two approaches to building your own having your own um, environment to practice SQL. One is to download and install SQL and SQL tool in your own PC or laptop. And the other is make use of online services like this one. So this is one of them, livesql.oracle.com. Now, before we get with the lesson, um, let's talk a little bit a little about the table called Jewel. This one, D U A L, dual table. Dual table is only present in Oracle and it is uh, a special kind of table, which is single row, single column kind of table that is used for ad hoc processing of certain expressions or maybe even processing or formatting a date. Okay, I'm going to show you one example. So example, you wanted to display the date, the system date called sysdate in Oracle. So you will have this command select sysdate from Jewel. Because in Oracle by default, I mean, the convention is that when you do a select statement, when you execute a select statement, it has to have a from some kind of table. It cannot be without the from. In other flavors of SQL, it allows the absence of a from if you're just doing some kind of processing of an expression. Okay, so we executed that. We click the run here and you see the output at the bottom pane. The system date is being displayed 20 November 2021. So that is the dual table. Again, it's a special purpose table which is already there um, when you install Oracle database. It's already there somewhere inside that you can use for um, doing some ad hoc processing. Okay, anyway, um, I explained the dual table because we'll be using it in the demonstration and the examples that will follow. So in this video, we'll be talking about encryption actually, okay? Let me just get, okay. Encryption, you've heard of it, I'm sure, um, while using at work, maybe, maybe you're using some word processing document, I mean, application then you might have heard of the word encryption. And encryption has lots of definitions. My simple definition of this would be the process of converting information into an unreadable format. How is that? What's the purpose of that? The purpose of this is to secure information or document. For instance, you have a document which is um, in clear text, uh, you can say something like dear dear friend something and the content of your document is supposed to be sensitive so you wanted it to be unreadable when somebody tries to eavesdrop or maybe try to sniff out your documents then it will be in an unreadable format although still in text that is the purpose of encryption. And 
So that is encryption. On the other hand, encryption will become useless without this decryption. So which is the opposite of encryption? That means you send a message or a document in an encryptable, in an encrypted or unreadable format to your chosen destination, an email address, whatever it may be. And then when that person, when the recipient receives the message or the document, he will use an application, a software to decode that coded message or document that is decryption, the opposite of encryption. Okay, so now that we have seen the definition of these two, let's see how Oracle can do encryption. In Oracle, there is a command called uh, translate. So there's a command called translate. And what it does is it will, it goes hand in hand with the select, select command. So in this syntax, select translate. And this is the, the syntax. You put a parenthesis and then the first parameter is the string to be encrypted. In IT terms, when you say string, it means a bunch of letters that go together as one unit. So that string could be a word, could be a sentence, could even be a whole paragraph, a whole article, could be, a, doesn't matter how long it is, depends on the capability of the application. Just remember a string is a bunch of letters or characters, even numbers. So string to be encrypted. And the second parameter is the string to replace and the third parameter is the replacement string. Let's get a real example so you can imagine what it is. So again, we're using Oracle SQL to demonstrate this to you because in fact, the command translate command doesn't exist in other flavors of SQL. I'm not sure there could be some other equivalent, but it's not of the same name as this. Okay, so the first parameter is the string to be encrypted. In my case, the string, the bunch of letters that I want to code, encrypt, are these. DBOS talks, please subscribe. Okay, that's, those are the, that's the string I want to encrypt. And then the second parameter, string to replace, is this. If you look at it, it is, this is a simplified example only, just so you get the hang of it, get the concept. So the string to replace is, presents the list of characters that this encryption supports. So in this case, it supports only the 26 letters of the English or Latin alphabet. And on top of that, the period, or you might call it a full stop, and the space character, only those. This is for simplicity. If you wanted to be a full-blown encryption program, then you must have a long list. You must support all the characters, all the punctuations, all the special characters, the hash, the tilde, all those things. But here we're giving you a simplified view. So again, the first parameter is the string, again, a string is a bunch of letters or characters that go together, just a string. This is the string that I want to encrypt or to code. The second is string to replace. And the third parameter is the replacement string. So these second and third parameter are sometimes called in the industry, in the cryptography industry as key, the key because you need a key to unlock something. You also need a key to lock something, isn't it? So same thing here, when you encrypt, you need a key to lock it. And then once it gets received, the message or document received at the other end, then you need the key to unlock it. So what it does is this, what it means is this, A, B, C, D, E, all the way up to Z, 
including the period and the space. Like I said, you can add on other characters as you wish. But on the third parameter, this is one-to-one, -one, meaning for every letter A it sees, it will replace it with H. If it sees a B in the string here, which I provided, if it sees a B, it will also replace with B, coincidence. If it is a C, it will replace with an F and so on. So I hope you get the concept. The first one is the string you want to encrypt or code. The second one is string to replace. This is part of the key. And the third is what you will replace it with. Okay. This encrypted text here is just an alias. If you have seen one of my previous S tutorial videos, then you would know what an alias means. It is just like a nickname. So in this case, it's an alias for this whole uh, column here, enclosed by the parentheses. So select translate, blah, 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 alias from dual. Again, dual is a special purpose Oracle table. Now let's, let me comment this and let me execute this one. Okay, so you can see at the bottom pane, the output of our select statement, which is a select translate. So again, what it did, what it did was, it looked at this string, string is a bunch of letters or characters. It looked at this string, DBOS talks, please subscribe. And using the key here, it translated or encrypted into using this string here. So again, if you look, the first letter of the string is D. So it will look for D. D is here, fourth. Here, the fourth letter is O. See here, the, the first letter being shown is O. Let's go to B. B is also B. B, B. So here, B. Let's go to O. O is here. Where is O? It is here. It is get, gets replaced with Y. Y. So this is your encrypted text. Now again, this becomes useless unless there is a way to reverse this. That's called decryption. Decryption. And we will do that right now. Okay, so what we did was encryption. This is already in an unreadable format or form, as you can see. So you will need some kind of an expert in cryptography to reverse this, to break this down. Okay, so you've seen encryption. Now to decryption. As you know, decryption is the opposite of encryption. Okay. Now let's look at using the same example that we have just seen. Remember the encrypted form is this, O, B, Y, U, A, J, H, A, et cetera, it's already here. So the syntax is very similar. Select translate. In this case, the string to be decrypted, decrypted, to be decoded. And then I'm using a key also, which is, if you look at the key, see, yeah, I'll show you. In encryption, look at this, A, B, C, D, and then here, H, B, F, O, M. To decrypt this, I will reverse the second and the third parameters. Look at the decryption select statement. So the A, B, C, D, E, F, G becomes the third parameter. And uh, HBFOM, blah, 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 becomes the second parameter. Okay, because decryption is the opposite of encryption. So again, we're, we'll be doing decryption here, and the purpose really is to decode. Imagine you're receiving this message and you could not understand this. Of course, in the real application, you will not be doing this manually, but this is what is happening behind the scenes. You will actually buy an application which is, or it could be built into another application. And it will, behind the scenes, be doing this thing. But I'm just explaining you, to you that this can also be done using SQL. 
specifically in Oracle SQL. So we will be doing now decryption, which is to decode this thing. We've received this and we want to decode this to understand what was really the message. So this I have put in the first parameter, which is the string that I want to decrypt. And then these other two are just the keys to decode them. So meaning again, if the program, if SQL sees H, it will replace it with A. If it sees a B, it will replace with a B. It, if it sees an F, it will replace with a C and so on. That's how the decryption works. So I will change this alias, it's called decrypted text. Okay, now let's execute this. Okay, that was quick because it's just a short string. So you see it has done its thing, select translate, and the output is at the bottom pane, decrypted text, just an alias, alias, uh, but it is the output. So using the input, which is the encrypted text and readable, because of this translate command of Oracle, we have been able to decrypt or decode the previously unreadable text. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, we've learned about encryption and decryption as well as concepts um, surrounding it, like encrypt, decrypt, and the use of the keys. Okay, like, just like when you lock something, you lock the door, you need a key to open it, to unlock it, you need a key. Same thing here. Okay, so I hope you learned something new. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please, please click subscribe and see you in the next video.